Hey guys, Kelly Fab here, and today I'm going to be doing my spring and summer beauty and lifestyle must-haves video. And this is a collab with Angela here on YouTube, Beauty by Angela, and she is also on Instagram, Beauty by Angela as well. But we are both going to be posting our spring and summer must-haves, like of all time, what we definitely recommend to you guys with lifestyle things and beauty-related things. So it's going to be a little mix. We haven't really told each other at all what we would choose and yeah I think it's gonna be really exciting so this is all of the things that I would tell you like if somebody asked me like what mascara should I use or whatever these are the things that I would recommend to you guys so first I want to start with the elephant in the room no not that one my eyes right yeah I was feeling a little extra this morning and I'm home today so I don't have to go anywhere I don't think I would be bold enough to go out with this eye look, <laughs> to be completely honest. But it's kind of fun to do, and I haven't played with blue in a while, and I got this Stila palette from Marshalls a while back, and I haven't played with it yet, so... And this one is the Eyes of the Window Shadow palette, and it's got these beautiful blue colors in it, so I just wanted to play with them today. And that's what I did. So, don't judge me. Let's get on to this video. I'm so excited to start. So I'm going to just kind of do a mix. I'm going to grab some makeup, some beauty, some lifestyle, some just whatever I feel like grabbing because I don't want it to be like in a row like all the makeup stuff and then all the lifestyle stuff. I think that's silly. So let me start with this. You guys definitely need a reusable water bottle. I have been bringing this to work every single day. Well, this one, I have a couple other ones. And this has been saving me. There's also a really cool feature on this one. There's like a tab that you can turn to how many bottles you've had for the day. So it gives you a number. This is actually the one that my son got me for Christmas this past year and it is the Thermos brand. It's really nice because this metal here closes and locks it down so that it won't accidentally pop open. And then you have the little handle on there as well. So I really, really love these. I definitely recommend these. I recommend them to everybody at work too so that they don't have to use styrofoam and plastic and then straws. <laughs> and all that kind of stuff. I just bring this, refill it, and I'm good to go. So definitely recommend a reusable water bottle. The next thing I would recommend to you guys is getting a really good dry shampoo. So this one is by the brand Oscar Blandy, and it's the Pronto Dry Shampoo Spray. I put this in one of my favorites video. I think it was like February, but I love this dry shampoo. I'm like savoring it right now because... I don't want it to go away, but I don't want to buy another one because I have other dry shampoos, you know? But it's really, really good. It doesn't leave a white cast and it dries on my hair very well. And it doesn't feel like sticky, you know what I mean? Like when those dry shampoos can feel like really sticky on your scalp, I hate that. It drives me crazy. But this one is really good. And in the summer when you're going in the pool or going in the water or, you know, you're running around and it's hot and, you know, it's uncomfortable, you need this. Seriously, you do because your hair is going to get nasty. You're going to feel gross because your hair is nasty. And I'm the type of person where if my hair feels nasty, I'll put dry shampoo and then I'll just put it up on a pony because I still want the clean feeling, but I want to just get it out of my face basically. So I definitely recommend a really good dry shampoo. Maybe not necessarily this brand if you don't, you know, if you already found one that you really like, but definitely a dry shampoo you need for the summer. The next thing I recommend for the spring and summer time is a really good spring summer perfume. And the one I've been raving about lately is this one, surprise, surprise. It is the Toca Florence perfume. I love this. I have left the notes on the screen before, but I will leave them again here. And oh my God, it's just such a good spring summer scent. Like I feel like I'm going to be wearing this one all spring and summer. Well, besides me trying to get through my little samples that I have for my sample project pan, this is the one I feel like I'm going to be wearing all the time. I'm really, really excited. I love this scent. It's so good and floral and fruity at the same time. It's just, 
it's so light and refreshing on the skin and it actually stays on the skin for a fair amount of time definitely not an all-day staying power type of perfume but I would say it definitely has at least six hours of staying power so I really love this one I definitely recommend you checking it out you can get it at Sephora and yeah, I mean, I am so glad I picked this one up. It's so beautiful. Okay, so a makeup item that I would highly suggest to you guys to picking up for the summer is a BB cream with an SPF in it. And the one that I really like is the Tarte BB Amazonian Clay Tinted Moisturizer. I have the shade Light Medium. Unfortunately, there are only five shades of this range, so... I just wish they would expand their ranges more. Like, this one has five light shades, basically. Like, even the medium, like the darker medium, is really not a dark shade. Like, it's probably my darkest when I'm tan in the summertime. You know what I'm saying? So it's really not a good shade range, but I do like the fact that it does have an SPF of 20 in it. I do really, really highly recommend this if you can find a shade that is in your color. But... This one is so lightweight on the skin. It looks like a natural finish to the skin. It really doesn't look like you have anything on at all, except for maybe like a little bit of coverage, you know what I'm saying? And then it does have the SPF in it. So it's kind of do it's kind of like a dual purpose, you know? And then this, I've also been trying it different ways. And you can definitely reapply this with your fingers and it reapplies beautifully because I have been testing this out more and more because I'm trying to figure out what I want to bring on the cruise with me. And I'm thinking that this one's gonna be my go-to because it does have the SPF in it and it can be reapplied super easily right on top of my other makeup. And I really love this one. I highly recommend it for for the spring and summer time. The next thing that you're definitely gonna need for the spring and summer is a really good moisturizer. And for me, I highly recommend a gel-based or a water-based moisturizer in the spring and summertime, so that way it's not too heavy on your skin. And water and gel-based formulas sink into my skin much quicker and easier, and they're very lightweight and breathable on the skin. So the one that I would highly, highly recommend to you guys, if you haven't already tried it, you definitely should, it is the Believe true cream aqua bomb and I love this I rave about it all the time on my channel this is the full size because I am since done using the smaller samples that I had I think I had like three smaller samples before I started using this and this is the best moisturizer for the spring and summer because it is so lightweight and breathable on the skin so that is what it looks like it's like a blue hydrating moisturizer and it is a water or gel based moisturizer it's kind of like a mix between the two which i really really like and your skin just breathes through it it doesn't break me out at all because it doesn't clog your pores and i can use this in the daytime in the nighttime it doesn't matter so honestly when i'm traveling this is going to be the only moisturizer i bring with me i'm pretty sure because we are going to be in a hot climate i highly highly recommend you guys checking this out if you haven't already I'm sure they could give you a little sample of this to try it out but honestly using this for like three days when I initially got it I knew this was going to be a staple in my collection and since it has been definitely for the spring and summertime I tend to use a heavier moisturizer in the winter time because my skin is much drier but when my skin is a little bit more oily I do have combination skin so when it's more oily in the summer this is the one I always reach for and it never fails me okay a fun little thing I wanted to put in here is a shaver. Duh, you guys, we need to shave for the summer, our legs and our pits, just saying. So this is my little fun one. I just use the Gillette disposable razors. I pretty much can go through like one a month. So those packs that I get for Christmas last me the entire year. And yeah, definitely I'm gonna be shaving this summer. You don't have to if you don't want to, but I will. Two items that are similar but different in their own personal way i would recommend a really good waterproof or sweatproof mascara so for me the waterproof mascara that i would recommend is the Too faced better than sex waterproof mascara i only have the little sample tube here which has been working out great for me so far but i definitely want to test this more but so far it hasn't run on me at all i even went in the pool with it the other day and and it was perfectly fine like literally it held up fantastically so I'd highly recommend that one 
And then the other one is the Tarte Lifted Mascara, and this is the Sweat Proof Mascara. So this is what I would use if I was exercising or whenever I go to the gym, this is always the mascara I choose. Or if I'm going to work and then I know I'm going to the gym right after work, this is the mascara I will put on because it literally doesn't go anywhere. Like I rub my eyes at the gym because I get sweaty and then like you know the sweat kind of stops on the lids and it's just kind of annoying. So I rub my eyes and I'm like oh crap I have makeup on. And I look at my hand and there's like no mascara on my hand. I'm like huh this stuff is good. So highly recommend the Tarte Lifted Mascara. It's fantastic. It has worked for me every time. I will say that this is not a black mascara. It is a dark brown mascara and that's how it is for all of them. They don't have a black shade. This is definitely a dark brown mascara but for me it's perfect. It works fantastic. I can wear this on its own and just kind of go for like a no makeup makeup look and I love this one so highly recommend this one as well. So the next thing I'm going to recommend because it is warm out and you're going to be getting some sun. You are going to probably, hopefully, be protecting your skin with a good SPF. And like I said, most of the time I like to use the SPF that is in my makeup already. But if you do get burned or if you are just in a hotter climate or outside a lot, even in the Michigan weather it gets really hot, then if you want something to just cool you down but still moisturize the skin, I would highly recommend the Aqua Cool line from the Bath and Body Works. This, oh, it's upside down, totally it is. So this Aqua Cool line is amazing. So on the back it says, stay cool, instant summer moisture, soothing aloe, protective vitamin E, nourishing coconut oil. So this one in particular I got last, end of the summer, like they were on sale, and I got the A Thousand Wishes scent, and this was $16.50, but like I said, I got it on sale, and I'm so excited to get more use out of it now, but it is like such a cooling lotion. Like it's weird, but the aloe in here, it's like, it's so refreshing and light. Like I'm warm right now filming because I have these bright lights on me, and just putting it on my arms, oh, it's so soothing. Not only is it soothing and cooling, but it's actually a really good lotion too. It is like a gel-based lotion, so it is very breathable on the skin, which is why I think it's so cooling. And then the aloe aspect in it just makes it so much better. So highly recommend the Aqua Cool line from Bath & Body Works. I think it will save your skin this summer and help you to keep cool. Because I know a lot of us live in warmer climates during the summer and yeah, it's nice to have something like this where it's not going to be like sitting and sinking in your skin and like clogging your pores. It's actually going to be breathable on your skin. So yes, this is one of my go-to lotions for the summer. Next thing I recommend you getting is a really good physical exfoliant for your face because it's the summertime and you well, maybe not you, but I tend to get more oily during the summer months. I definitely need a really good physical exfoliant for my skin and my face to clean out all my pores and to get all the makeup off my face and just to kind of refresh my face. So the one that I would highly recommend is the Tarte Friction Stick. And I just still have a sample of this. I use it very sparingly, but I love it and it is so good. So a lot of people were saying that they didn't really know how to use this. So basically what you wanna do is wet your face. I just go like this and I just kinda of do one little circle around my face, put a little bit on my nose and then close it up because it gets wet. And then I sit there with my fingers and I scrub it into my face because it is a physical exfoliant so you wanna get it all over. So I scrub it all over my face and then I just rinse my face. So. That is the easiest way I have found to do it. I know some people said that they like open it up and they put some on your hand and then do that. I think that's just too much. Just put it on your face. I mean, it's not like it's dirty. It's just gonna get washed off. And if you're worried about that, then what I do too, what I have done, if it looks kind of dirty on the top, I just use my hand, my wet finger, and I just go like that and like wipe off the top layer and then you're getting a layer underneath. So. Definitely recommend this. It's so good on the skin. It definitely feels like it clears my pores out and I haven't broken out at all when I've been wearing this. So I've been really, really loving this and I've been using it pretty much all winter and I think it'll actually be better for the summertime. So definitely check out the Tarte Friction Stick, especially if you can get it on sale because 
is really good. So the next item that I have or items that I have kind of go hand in hand and these items actually aren't for me. They are for my family. My boys, as in my husband and my six-year-old son, every freaking summer, I swear to God, it never fails. They both get poison ivy. It is the most obnoxious thing because then they're both coming to me because they can't help each other because they will pass it back and forth. I am immune to it because I have rubbed up on it so many times in my life and I have fixed David up so many times and fixed Carter up so many times. I should have gotten it by now if I was ever going to, but I've never gotten it. So I'm pretty sure I'm completely immune to it, which is fantastic, honestly. But they get it all the freaking time. All the time, every summer, I swear to God, David gets it like multiple times during the summer. Thank God Carter only gets it like once and he doesn't get it as bad as David does. But David gets it severe in the summertime. So what I would, what I would recommend for that, because it seems like none of the creams and the rubs and anything like that end up working for them. They go up to the doctor, they get these special highly medicated creams and steroid pills and all this other stuff and it never works. Literally, it does nothing. So what we've been doing is putting calamine lotion on them, but when they're in the shower, that's when I think it makes the most difference because poison ivy blisters up and then it will spread when the blisters pop and the pus basically comes out and that pus is what's contagious. So I get them to basically break all of those blisters in the shower so they can wash it down the drain so it doesn't spread around the house. So what I do to them is I make Carter and David take an Aveeno um, oatmeal bath. So this is the one that I use. I use the Aveeno brand because it is the more gentle brand out there for the oatmeal baths. Some of the other ones can be a little bit more abrasive on the skin because they actually have like the oatmeal pieces in it. This, this one is all ground up, so it's very fine particles. So it doesn't hurt his skin, especially Carter because his skin is so, it's so new. I mean, he's six years old, so I don't want him to hurt his skin trying to make it better. I definitely recommend the Aveeno oatmeal bath. And then the other thing I recommend is a sugar scrub, but not all sugar scrubs are made equal. This is the only one that I've found and I've had them try at least six or seven different sugar scrubs. And this is the only one that I have found that actually works. This is the Tea Tree Shea Sugar Scrub in the Almond and Honey. So this is the brand new one that I actually picked up last year because David had finished the other two full sizes that we had in the shower last year. I got this at the end of the season just in case any of it came back. So basically, what I have them do is while they're in the shower, they scrub this all over their body and especially wherever the um, poison ivy breakout is, but I make them scrub their entire bodies with this and then rinse it down and then do it again. So that basically breaks all of the blisters that were on the verge of breaking anyways in the shower so that it doesn't spread throughout the house. And this is an essential for my family. I don't know how poison ivy is in your area Area, but we seem to get it a lot where I live and especially in the backyard like I swear to God there's like poison ivy plants all over in the backyard so every summer David has to point them out to me and I have to clean them because if he even gets near it he gets the worst breakouts so this is definitely the combination that I recommend not only does this work for poison ivy but it smells freaking amazing. So unfortunately it is in the tub form. So when the boys are using this for their poison ivy breakouts, I don't touch it because <laughs> I can't. I don't want to accidentally get their poison ivy juices on me because that's gross. But I do buy this for myself as well. This is the winning combination for poison ivy. This along with calamine lotion that they put on after the shower. So highly recommend this if you have anyone in your family that is susceptible to poison ivy or to any kind of like poison oak, poison sumac. I'm pretty sure we have it all in our in our backyard. But this is the winning combination. I'm telling you, it works every freaking time.
and it works like pretty quickly too. And the next item is more of a makeup item, but it is the Mario Badescu skincare facial spray with aloe herbs and rose water. This is the one I have been working on, and I definitely recommend a facial mist for the summertime. I love spraying my face with a facial mist just randomly, like just because. I'm gonna do it right now. Mm, it's so refreshing and lightweight and it kind of wakes you up a little bit and it makes you feel good and it just kind of revives life into your skin. You know what I mean? Then another spring and summer must have for me, you guys know this already, it is the Neutrogena Makeup Remover Cleansing Towelettes. I have a little travel size pack and this has been living in my purse. So this one has seven towelettes in here. I get the big pack from Costco with the three full sizes and the two travel sizes. And I freaking love these travel sizes because they always come in handy. Like, honestly, even if my son has like food on his face, I'll just use one of these. I know it's a little bit more expensive to do that than just using like a baby wipe, but I'm not gonna buy a travel size of the baby wipe and keep those in my purse too. You know, these work for everything. I love these, these are so great. They take off all of my makeup. One sheet will take off my whole face of makeup. That's why I love these so much. It does leave an oily base on your skin, so you do have to rinse off your skin after, but honestly, I rinse off my skin anyways, or wash my skin anyways. So definitely recommend these, highly, highly recommend these, especially in the little travel size, because I mean, it's gonna save you space in your purse or your wallet or whatever you're using, and it's like so convenient. Like seriously, just get them. I love these. They're so worth the money. So another item that I am going to recommend to you guys is the Jack Black Intense Therapy Lip Balm. And I have the lavender scent, which isn't my favorite, but this is the most moisturizing lip balm ever. I love it so much. I put it on every single morning and this has an SPF of 25 in it. So that is what I would say is the most important fact about this because if you guys look at lip balms here on the market, a lot of them don't have an SPF at all or they have like an SPF of 15. And for me, my lips peel so easily because they're so dry all the time. Even in the summertime, they just are continuously dry all the time. So having the SPF of 25 ensures that my lips aren't gonna dry out <laughs> and they aren't going to burn when they do dry out because it is the most uncomfortable thing in the entire world to get a burn on your lips don't do it. So that is why I recommend the Jack Black lip balm. And then a couple apps that I wanted to show you on my phone, they're from Under Armour. No, this is not sponsored, but these are the apps that I use all the time to track my mileage and my GPS, you know, distances from when I go bike riding and when I go for my walks or my runs. So these are the two apps here. This is the Map My Ride app, and this is the Map My Walk app. So basically all you do is just click on it. You guys know how apps work. And this is the Map My Run. This is what I've been using every single day for my walks or my runs. And it just kind of preloads here. And then it'll show you your distance here at the top, the duration that you've been walking or running for, the pace per mile. You can set it per kilometer if you are on the metric system. And then you have your average pace, and then you have your calories burned. So in order to get your correct calorie burn, you need to add in your stats when you first log into the app. And then as you lose or gain weight, you can reset your stats because it's not gonna give you a correct calorie burn if you're setting your stats at the weight you used to be. It's gonna tell you that you lost more calories because you know if you're heavier, if there's more weight on your body, then you're gonna burn more calories when you walk the same distance. But if you're lighter, then you need to reset that weight and that height or whatever. Like if you're a, you know, if you're a teenager and you're getting taller, you need to reset that height because then it's gonna change your calorie burn versus where you're going, like your distance and stuff. And I really like this app because it tells me my GPS, so it tells me the exact distance that I'm using. It's not like a pedometer or anything like that. It doesn't tell you your steps because it's a GPS tracker and it doesn't care about your steps. It tracks how many calories you're burning versus how much distance you're traveling and how quickly you're traveling that distance. And I think it's been the most accurate app I've been using. And what I'll do is I will put that in my chronometer 
Um, I'll link I'll link Chronometer below. That's the website that I use for tracking my calories and my food and my exercise and stuff to keep my weight, you know, going down. And this is what I use for my exercise tracker more more often than not because it seems to be the most accurate out of all of the different trackers that I have tried. So I do really like it and it works really well for me. I never have any issues with it connecting to the GPS or it connecting to you know, my data, Wi-Fi, whatever. It always works every time I want to use it. So I really like that about an app. And because I think it's sponsored by Under Armour, it works more because that's like a bigger name brand that's sponsoring the app. So I highly recommend those two apps. And I do like the biking app as well. It's kind of like the exact same thing. It judges the distance and stuff like that. So I think that is it for all of my spring and summer must-haves that I would recommend to you guys. And I definitely recommend you going and checking out Angela video here on YouTube. I will leave her link down below and I'm sure she's going to have some really great stuff and probably a lot of different things than I do, which is why it keeps it really interesting, you know? But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this and let me know what your spring and summer must-haves are. List them down below. I'd really like to know. And so I did mention briefly in a previous video this week that I am going to start inputting little tiny giveaways in my video. So this is going to be my first one of my little hidden giveaway videos. All I want you to do is definitely be subscribed to my channel. Make sure your subscriptions are turned on so I can check and make sure that you are. Leave me a comment down below on what your favorite spring and summer or spring or summer beauty or lifestyle must have is. I would really like to know. And finally, go and check out my Instagram beauty page. This is the link here and it's always linked down below. And like the photo that has this giveaway on it. So those are the only rules. I mean, not really rules, but those are the only things you need to enter the giveaway. And it's a small giveaway. They're all going to be small giveaways, but I want to do giveaways more often. So I figured if I do smaller ones, then I can do them more often. And it'll be more exciting because then more people can win. So I'm really excited about this. Today, I'm going to be giving away... It's packaged up because I didn't want to open it, but it is the Botanic Fiber Facial Mask My Beauty of Diary Secrets, and this is what it is. It contains six facial masks, so I'm going to open up the one that I have right now. So this is mine. This is the one that you guys are going to be getting. This one is still in its original plastic packaging, so I'm not going to open that, but this is what you guys are going to be getting, and it's like a little book. It's so cute. I love this. Like, how freaking cute is that? Anyways, so you get the hashtag, so you get the hashtag happy hour, the hashtag beauty secret. I love this one. The hashtag beauty scoop. This one's also amazing. Then you get the hashtag after party. This one I haven't tried yet. And you get the hashtag stay gorgeous. And finally, the hashtag, I woke up like this. This seems to be one of the favorites of many, many people here on YouTube. But anyways, yeah, that is what I'm going to be giving away to you guys in this first little hidden giveaway. So make sure you are subscribed to my channel. Make sure you leave a comment down below on your spring and summer must-haves. Like I said, it can be beauty or lifestyle or anything related. And make sure you go over to my beauty Instagram page and like the photo that's going to have this in it. I am going to put this one on there opened up so you guys can see all the masks. But like I said, when you receive yours, it'll be the brand new one in the package. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to enter the giveaway. I'm really excited to start giving back to you guys some more. And I hope you have a wonderful day or night wherever you are. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.